This is our new app. It's called Binaural Location. And this, he this video is a headphones only video because this is a headphone specific app. I'll show you what it does. So I'm gonna take off this lock and now I have these two control points. And if you're listening to my voice now, my voice is going through this app. So this uh, R control point sets the location of where the right, channels, right channel of audio input comes from. And the L is the location of the left channel audio input. Now in this case, my microphone is mono. So uh, splitting a mono input in, in, in two directions isn't particularly exciting. So I'm gonna put them close to each other so that they'll sound, in fact, I'm gonna stick them on top of each other. So they'll sound kind of, uh, sound like they're, they're one, one audio source. And then I'm gonna lock them so I can move them together. Now, what you'll notice is when I get, when I get closer, it'll get louder. When I'm in front, uh, you hear, it sounds like it's in front. I put it on the left side, you'll hear it coming from the left side. On the right side, it comes from the right side. And in the back, it sounds like it's coming from the back. So this is not just a simple pan tool. This is doing several things at the same time. The first thing it's doing, I'll leave those locked together. The first thing it's doing is it's modeling the filtering effects of your ears. So if you sit, a sound source on this side of your head, the ear on this side is gonna not hear that as, as loudly, but it also won't hear the high frequencies coming through so clearly. So there's a, a volume adjustment, but there's also a filtering adjustment to make it sound like it's coming from the left side. The other thing that's going on is the volume of the sound changes according to the distance. So when I get, when I get closer, it'll be louder, and when I move far away, uh, you'll hear the volume reduce. And there's another aspect to this modeling, and that is the uh, timing. So each one of these uh, control points represents uh, a location in space, and then we calculate the time it would take to travel from that location to your right ear and to your left ear. And there are four different delay lines. So from each, from each of these two points, you've got a delay that represents the propagation time from your right ear, uh, from the right, uh, this is like the right speaker, from the right speaker to your right ear and right speaker to your left ear. And these delays modulate in real time. So you even get things like Doppler effect if you move them fast. You can hear the, the frequency will be shifting up and down due to the speed of the motion. Now, uh, most of you wouldn't want to sit here on an audio unit app wiggling these things so that you can get that Doppler effect. So we have this orbit feature where you can modulate this and you can have these sound sources. Uh, Let me turn that off. So when the orbit is off, this is the location of the right speaker and this is the location of the left speaker. But when you enable orbit, uh, the actual location of the right speaker orbits between the right speaker and the listener location is where this headphone icon is. So it's gonna go around like this, and the left one is gonna go around like that. And when you enable it, you have this sound that, uh, that the sound sources are moving around in the room. Now this is a bit too, a bit too swimmy for me. I'll slow it down uh, a little bit like that. And this gives you a nice effect that you could put onto uh, musical sounds if you wanted to have this sense of motion in there. Um, now, if you feel it's a little bit too much of the pitch shifting due to Doppler shift, as you move the control points closer, the orbit becomes less elliptical, and so you have more of the change in direction, but less in the change of volume and change of pitch. On the other hand, when you move the orbits way out, there's a lot more, uh, there's a lot more in and out motion, which makes a more dramatic effect. So as I, if I go to the very center, you just have the feeling that these two points are rotating around me without particularly moving in, in uh, uh, changing their distance from me. So that's the orbit. I'm gonna turn that back off and put these two points back together. Now, another feature that this has is the min delay feature. So as I said before, there are four delays. There's one from the left speaker to the left ear, from the left speaker to the right ear, from the right speaker to both ears. 
The important thing in terms of modeling the sound that you're hearing is not that the delay needs to be exactly the right length, but that the relative length between these two uh, uh, speaker sources and the two ears need to be the same. So when you hit min delay, it's going to subtract this, this uh, distance of the shortest delay from all of the delays, and that just reduces the latency of the whole app. And the, I, I wouldn't recommend using this if you're moving these things around a lot because it's going to give you some unrealistic sense of motion uh, because of that subtracting that delay. Uh, but when you figure, if you if you just want to place them somewhere and leave them, then I, I would enable min delay uh, just to reduce your latency a little bit. So that's it. This is the uh, complete introduction video. I hope you enjoy the app.